Hello everyone. Do you also want to increase your development speed when you're developing those nice Flutter applications? Well, then FlutterGen is absolutely a package that you should have a look at if you didn't know it already. What FlutterGen does, it's basically a code generator for your assets, your fonts, your colors, and all of that nice thing and that you want to include in your um, in your apps and get rid of all of these string based stuff so the the string based stuff what do we new, mean with that it's basically the part that you type into your assets whenever you create a new asset in your application as the example shows here um, the problem can happen is the when you type uh, something wrong in this part then your assets will not work anymore so it's also like a safety thing or a security thing to make your code less error prone and the added value is that uh, by using FlurGen, it also generates obviously these these classes with references to your assets and that in drastically improves your development speed because you don't need to type in image asset and then the path to the asset you can just use a class asset images and then choose your um, asset that you would like to use okay great so let's have a look in this video how we can use this package so there are some steps that we need to do first of all we need to activate this here the um, flutter gen in our visual studio we can do that in the terminal let's quickly open that um, so i'm gonna enter the command here in the terminal as you can see now i have already activated flutter gen so it's gonna say that this is already activated and it's all good the thing that uh, you probably will also need to do is add a certain part um, where this is located otherwise you will not be able to execute this flutter gen application in a moment so if you don't need know how you can do this here are the steps set up your pod to do that and then you can run flutter again again so um, we also need some dev dependencies as you can see here we need build runner and then flutter gen runner so we are also gonna do that um, I'm going to use this shortcut here. Um, I'm going to add the build runner. And this is going to add it to my pubspec.yaml. Uh, we'll have a look here with dev dependencies. There we go. And um, then we also need uh, flutter gen runner. So I'm going to do the same here. Add dev dependencies. And I'm going to say flutter gen runner and this is going to add flutter gen runner to the file as well so that's all good let's have a look at the documentation then here flutter pub again we don't need to do that that's my, what my command already did it grabbed the um, the information on these packages um, and then we can execute um, we can actually already use the flur can command and you need to reference the pubspec.yaml now one thing is very important obviously with assets you will need to make sure that um, your pubspec.yaml can access your asset files maybe first we can start by adding a folder here which is going to contain our assets there we go and I do have some sample images, which I'm just gonna drop in this assets folder. So I have several images here. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna uncomment this here. There we go. And this needs to be changed to assets. There we go. We're gonna save this. <clears throat> And what we then need to do is execute the command here. And we do need to make sure that we that we change the path here a little bit. I'm just gonna copy it again. There we go. There we go. And we don't need the example because our pubspec YAML is just in the root of the folder there. So and then you're gonna run it. 
And what happens now is um, it created a new folder here, as you can see, is, which is called gen. And then it also contains a Dart file, assets.gen.dart. And when you click on it, you will see that uh, FlirtGen actually located these assets in my asset folder and it created these references um, to these different assets. Some things which are also interesting is uh, the image here. Uh, but we, we can have a look at that in a moment. Um, and the, um, yeah, this looks good. So let's close this down. Let's go to our um, main file. Uh, let's maybe open up something here and let me just remove some stuff here just so we can have a quick uh, example. I'm just gonna put this in comment here. Um, and then I'm gonna say, okay, child and then column uh, or maybe just, uh, yeah, let's take, a, let's take a column. There we go. And then children, there we go. And first uh, we can add like we would use to do like image asset. And then here we can um, then normally we would type the pod something like this. Uh, but now we can use the class um, assets. And there you already see that it contains all of these different images that we have. We can say, okay, assets.images. And then what we need to do here is to select the path because this will actually be the path to our asset file. Another thing that we can do is we can also just um, do it like this. And uh, that is very interesting. Of course, we can just say, um, okay, generate an image from this. And this is the thing that will drastically improve your development speed because you will be able to more quickly access your assets and include them in your code. So this was a quick demo about Flirt Gen. Um, a thing that you can also do, let's quickly have a look at the, um, at the website here. Uh, I'll also put the link in comments, is that um, you can also... Gen uh, select an, um, an output pod for the um, the gen file that was created, the assets uh, gen file, where the class is located. Some other things, other integrations that you can also use is for SVGs uh, and also Rive. So there are some interesting things that you can also have a look at. I hope that this was informative, this video. If you like it, as always, please like, please subscribe, click the bell. Leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your feedback. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.